In this RefWorks tutorial, I'm going to show you how to sign up for and start using RefWorks, how to add citations and journal articles, and how to create bibliographies. You may want to watch this tutorial even if you're using a different citation manager, like Zotero, Mendeley, or EndNote, to get a general idea of how citation management tools work. RefWorks is free to use for all UBC students, faculty, staff, and alumni, and the UBC Library has created a RefWorks guide to help get you started. You can find all RefWorks information from the UBC Library homepage by clicking Get Research Help, and then in the Evaluating and Citing Sources section, you'll find the RefWorks and Write and Cite guide, which I'll open now. You'll notice here that there are two versions of RefWorks, Legacy RefWorks and the new RefWorks. The two versions work very similarly, but I'm going to be working in the new ProQuest RefWorks. Currently, the new RefWorks requires a UBC email address. If you don't have a UBC email address, you may want to sign up for Legacy RefWorks instead. Or you could follow the steps which are outlined here on the guide, which will help you set up new RefWorks with a non-UBC email address. To sign up or sign into RefWorks, begin by opening the link on this guide. Note that if you're off campus, you will be prompted to sign in through EasyProxy with your campus-wide login. And wherever you're signing in from, it's important that you do so through the UBC library. Trying another way, like Googling RefWorks, won't work with your UBC login. If it's your first time using RefWorks, Start by selecting Create an Account and follow the steps to set up your account. You may want to pause the video at this point to create your account before moving on. Now I've got my account created and I'm logged in, so we're in RefWorks and on the main screen. Before I start adding any citations or documents, the first thing that I'm going to do is create a folder for my research project. I can do that by clicking the drop down arrow beside My Folders and selecting Add a Folder. I'm going to title this one Social Media in Canadian High Schools, and now anytime I add a reference related to this project, I'm going to make sure that it's kept in this folder. There's more than one way to add citations to RefWorks, and if you click this plus sign icon in the toolbar at the top of the page, you'll see a few of these options, one of which is to create a new reference, which allows you to input all of a resource's citation information manually. But creating a citation manually isn't necessary for lots of citations because most databases have an option for exporting a citation directly into RefWorks. This is possible from the UBC Library search engine Summon. And you can also do this in other subject databases like ERIC and Education Source. Even Google Scholar can be customized to show links to import citations into RefWorks. You can do this by opening Google Scholar and then Settings, and select Show Links to Import Into, and choose RefWorks. Now when I search in Google Scholar, there's an option to import that citation into RefWorks. Even computers make mistakes, so when you've exported a citation into RefWorks from another database, it's important that you check the citation to ensure it's been entered and formatted correctly. For instance, in this citation, which I imported into RefWorks from the UBC Library Catalog, I see that the capitalization isn't correct for the APA style, so I'm going to capitalize the first word in the subtitle, and I can do that by clicking this pencil icon to edit the selected entry. This is why having a good grasp on the APA citation style is important, even when you are using citation management software. But citation styles are complex, and there are a lot of little rules that can be difficult to remember, so we recommend keeping a copy of UBC's APA style guide handy. It can help you find errors when checking your citations in RefWorks. Once you've gathered all of the resources for your research, you'll want to create a bibliography, which is really simple in RefWorks. I want to create a bibliography for all of the resources I've put into the folder for my social media and Canadian high schools research, which I have open now. And to do that, I just have to click on the quotation mark icon at the top of the page and select create bibliography. Once the bibliography is open, just make sure to select your preferred citation style. I'm going to choose APA 6th edition, which is the preferred citation style for the field of education. 
Finally, I want to go over one more important feature of RefWorks. One of the great things about RefWorks, like a lot of citation management tools, is that it actually allows you to upload and annotate the PDF versions of the articles you're citing. So to add a PDF, you first have to download the PDF and save it as a file on your computer. Then in RefWorks, click to edit the citation for that document and add it as an attachment. You can then open the PDF by clicking read and you can read the article, highlight parts of the text and add comments. But if you don't want to download and add the PDF of an article into RefWorks, notice that there's also a UBC e-link option that will help you easily find that article again. Now you should be ready to start using RefWorks in your research. If you still have questions or you want to know more about some of RefWorks features that we didn't cover in this tutorial, visit the Education Library's Information Desk or get in touch with one of the Education Librarians. Thanks for watching.